Jewish people were slaves in Egypt for 86 years. While they were there for 210 altogether, the last 86, the final 86 years were tremendous torture, tremendous suffering that they suffered. Afflicted in all types of afflictions. And, and the question is why, why did they have to suffer? So, why, why was this, this terrible affliction, this terrible suffering, this terrible beating they received from very cruel taskmasters? The question is asked by Rabbi Chaim and his nature, and he gives a very interesting answer based on the Nidrish. The Nidrish answers this question by saying the following. Yaakov, Jacob, as we know him, is the father of the Jewish people. He's the twelve sons of the twelve tribes that formed the Jewish people. The twelve sons themselves came from four different mothers. They were his two wives who bore him eight sons together. And the two wives, each one had a maid servant who also they delivered to the, the husband Yaakov, the gave of Yaakov, and they bore him another four sons, two sons each. So what the Midrash tells us though, is that the brothers, the twelve brothers, the eight and the four, suffered from a certain problem. The brothers who were the sons of the mother somehow looked down, made fun of the the brother who was the son of the nature. Possibly in very subtle way, wasn't any wasn't any you know, overt cruelty. But they still made fun of them and they called them slaves. And the angels in heaven were called by the You're all beautiful, they said of the Jewish people. You're a beautiful nation. How can this be tolerated? And so God himself decided to try to fix, to fix the matter. Not just to try to fix the matter, but he fixed the matter for it. He said, let them go down to Egypt. And let them be slaves there. All of them should be slaves. Let them be slaves there, let them suffer. And then, when they leave Egypt, they will commemorate that event, that exodus from Egypt. They will commemorate that the Pace of Night Seder and together, as we sit at the table, we all say, the entire Jewish people declared we were slaves to Pharaoh in Egypt. All of us were slaves. We are all equal. This was the solution to the problem. This was brought as the reason for the terrible slavery, the terrible exodus. And it's an amazing idea. Because we know the exodus from Egypt to be the very core of the Jewish identity. And yet this entire event could have been avoided simply by the brothers acting in a more benevolent, you know, in a kinder way amongst themselves. These brothers, the sons of the mothers and the sons of the maids, are treating them in an equal and a fair way. All of this could have been avoided. It's a frightening thought. Obviously, if the brothers would have known this at the time, they, they would have certainly not have transgressed as they did. But it doesn't matter if you know what you don't know. If you do that which is wrong, so there are consequences, and that's what happened. There were consequences, terrible consequences to that entire generation. 86 years of slavery just for people with less There's another point there also. It's not just the brothers who were cruel or guilty. It's the brothers who were the victims also in a sense were guilty. Because they could have been less insulted. They could have been less hurt by the remarks. And then also, that also would have cleared, would have cleared the air. But they were hurt. And therefore, the entire Jewish people had to suffer as they did. In our times too, and right through the generation, the Jewish people continue to suffer. Maybe we should look to this idea of a possible cause for that suffering. God doesn't want us to be united. He doesn't want us to be brothers to each other, to help each other, to feel for each other. And possibly, if we can take such a message to heart, we can create an environment which will allow for perfect, perfect lifestyle, perfect salvation, a rescue from all effort, a redemption, peace in our time, peace from war, peace from all types of troubles and pains and sicknesses. This could be the very solution. Because this is what is, this is demanded from us as a people, to be united, to care for each other. 
And if we fail, then just like that generation, suffering was necessary, suffering became necessary to unite us, it could be then, up the shoulder, it could be God forbid, that our generation also needs some sort of scare, some sort of war, to scare us into behaving, and to frighten us into behaving, as we really should. But use this message to meditate on it, to think about thoughts of brotherliness, thoughts of love, our neighbors, our communities, our people, and to the peoples of the world. It's use this message as an opportunity to increase the peace and love within the